Chapter 14, practice exam number one. So a certain fixed wire, uh, wire fixed to both ends is observed to oscillate with a standing wave of three antinodes. When driven by a 350 hertz oscillator, I want to know what frequency it would require to create seven antinodes. So the trick here is that the number of antinodes is equivalent to the number of the harmonics. So what we're really saying here is that the third harmonic is 350 hertz. So let's write that down. Third harmonic frequency is 350 hertz. And I want to know seven antinodes, so I want to know what is the seventh. Okay, that's kind of, I mean, that's really it. Alrighty. Well, I know that in general, for any harmonic, the frequency of any harmonic is that harmonic number times the first harmonic. So what I could say is that F3 equals 3 times F1. Now, I don't know what F1 is, but it doesn't matter because it turns out that's going to go away anyways. I can also say that F7 is 7 times F1. If I solve this for F1, F1 must be F3 over 3. I'm just going to put that in there. So now I have F7 is 7 times F3 over 3. I know what F3 is, so 7 times 350 hertz over 3. And I just put that in my calculator. Or if you don't have a calculator, just try to reduce it or something. And I get 817 hertz. OK. Technically, I should round that to 820 hertz, actually. But this is fine. So let's talk about points. Um, let's see, there, there really isn't a lot to do here. So let's do, oh gosh, how about, how about three points for the answer, three points for this thing here. Um, how about, let's see, that's six. Let's do two points for this and a point each for somehow plugging in that F3 is 3 F1 or F7 is 7 F1. You might do that in a, um, I've seen some kids do it with a, um, what do you call it, a proportion that worked too. Okay.